this swimming pool piece um, where I drew the pools, I drew the lines, and then I ended up going in and carving and removing, adding texture, and doing a lot of like carving away of all that slip or underglaze. Maybe that's not the approach you wanna take. Maybe you would rather do a more specific approach, which I did here using a drawing that I transferred on and then painted like a specific small area. So today I'm gonna to show you a couple of big ways of doing Spurfita. So oh, this is a leather hard piece that we've painted two layers of underglaze, black underglaze onto, and now we're ready to start drawing and carving through. My favorite tool for Scraffito is an old school sharpened pencil because what it can do is as you draw into the clay, it spreads it apart like a plow and makes a nice, clean, soft line. Street here. Okay. Another great tool is a mechanical pencil, but it makes a slightly different kind of a kind of line, which is nice. We have the needle tool, which works pretty good, um, but the lines tend to almost be really almost too thin. For these kind of drawings, this is good for adding little details, like we want to add a little garage door on here, or add a little front door. I like it for those kind of little lines. A little like, this is kind of like a kebab skewer. It was a lot longer and I just broke it off so it was kind of in a more comfortable size. Um, and it's, it's that same kind of idea where it's a sharpened point round point, it's like a tiny, it's almost like a smaller pencil tip, which is nice. Another tool we have in person is this loop tool. We have a curved one and a square one. And the loop tool is good for removing material. Like if I wanna remove the negative space around these houses, then I can kind of come around them like this with it and carve away little bits. Let's say you're at home, you're working at home, you don't have one of these tools. Never fear. Here you go. She's easy peasy. On the other side of my pencil, I took a paper clip and just taped it to the, to the eraser side. You know, I use like three pieces of tape there. So it's on pretty good. Um, and I can use this as the same tool. It's nice when it's attached to a handle makes it easier to grab onto. Um, the other thing you can do is you could open up your paper clip and tape it to your pencil if you wanted to have kind of like a needle tool. Um, see how I attached it a little bit lower and I taped it all the way down. Say the paper clip tip um, actually works pretty good, better than the needle tool. you're going to produce these little boogers and crumbs along the piece. The best advice is to let them dry and then brush them away. Let's say you have a specific image that you want to decorate and paint on your piece. Find an image you want to use and I printed this in a couple of different sizes and then cut them out and when I looked at my piece I decided I wanted to go with the bigger one. No. Notice I'm working upside down because I want this to be on the outside of the bowl. It's gonna be a lot easier to draw if it's upside down. And I'm going to trace the lines. I've traced it with pencil and it left a very faint marking on the piece. What I can do, instead of painting the whole piece black, I'm going to paint kind of like a blobby version. 
so I don't have to be perfect about it. I can be a little bit loose. You see how it's thin? So let's try it. All right, the first coat is dry. We're gonna get a second coat on here. And I can still see my line. My underglaze is dry. I can see my drawing through there. And I also have my sample to look at. And I'm gonna start by tracing around the outside of my line. You can use the pencil or I'm using the paper clip needle tool. I don't want 